Let's take a quick look at how to underline text here in Photoshop. So if you want to underline a specific uh, set of words or something here in your text, you'll want to highlight what you want underlined. And then we need to go up to window down to the character panel unless you already have it popped open. I don't know why I scrolled all the way down there. Okay, so once this character panel is open, you might need to adjust more options or something in here, but you should be able to see all of these options here at the bottom. And one of them right here is underline. It's going to apply and underline to the set of text that you have highlighted. Pretty cool, right? And it's going to make that the color that you have as your text color. Now, the other thing that you can do with that text selected is actually in the properties panel. If you scroll down to type options, you'll see those same options here. It just kind of depends on what's easiest for you and what's quickest and fastest. Now, there's not much customization with that underline. So if you wanted your own custom underline or you wanted the underline to be a different color than the text, then we would want to undo that, right? I'm going to get rid of that underline and I can actually add just maybe my own rectangle shape. So if I I click below this type layer and I click on my rectangle tool and I come up here and look at the fill and stroke. Let's say I want this underlined in, oh, I don't know, maybe blue, right? So I'm going to click on a blue or select blue from this color drop down right here. We're going to underline it in that blue. I can actually create a rectangle. I'm going to press Z to zoom in here a little bit and go back to my rectangle tool with the shortcut key U. I'm going to create a rectangle now, depending on how your Photoshop document is set up. You might have to hold option or alt, but I can create this underline and I can actually just create it the size that I want and put it right here. And then if it's underneath my text, uh, it won't show up on top of my text, right? That makes sense, right? And we can move it around with the move tool. We can press command or control T to then resize that underline. So you can be very custom with it. We can double click on the thumbnail of that rectangle and change the color of the underline if we want. But now we have this little underline and it can be completely custom, right? You can move it and adjust it and make it however you would like. Now, when you edit your text, it will not move with your text. If I wanted to delete some random word there, I would actually have to move that rectangle or any underline that I have back up there. That's one of the downfalls of the custom side, but you do gain some other custom features with that. That's how to underline here in Adobe Photoshop.